This tutorial looks at the project information section within the um, analysis phase of the project. Um, it's a very straightforward section. There's not a huge amount to it. It's very, very short. It's the equivalent really of a bibliography in um, a piece of research. In other words, where are you getting your information from? Or where do you think you're going to get your information from? Okay, so it really is it's a it's an idea of you know the different types of information that you're going to need to get you from the beginning of the project to the end of the project where are you going to source these inf pieces of information from okay so i'm going to just categorize the information into three simple areas okay the background information the website content and the technical information okay so the background information would be just say we were dealing with um the guinness storehouse again where are you going to get the background information on the Guinness Storehouse? You know, it's numbers, it's employees, it's turnover, it's uh, um, opening hours, what it does, all of these different things. Well, you get them from lots of different places, such as maybe from paraphernalia on um, the Guinness Storehouse itself, maybe on their website, maybe on reports that are published and so on. So lots of different stuff, okay? Of course, if it, you know, let's be honest, the, the, the Guinness Storehouse is a very big operation. Just say you're looking at something way smaller, they may not have so much so much published material on it. So um, it might be a case of going to talk to the, to, to the owners or the operators, okay? So this information could be, you know, sourced through either primary or secondary data. OK, the website content, in other words, where are you going to get the information that's actually going to go up on the website? Now, in some cases, they, this might already be published or in some cases you might be creating it yourself. But where are you going to get it from? You know, with regards to even the images you're going to use, are you going to take them yourself? I hope I hope you are. Um, are you going to source them from different places and so on and so forth? So there's lots of different things. So where, where are you getting all this information from? And then finally, the third area to look at is the technical information. So where is that going to come from? Quite often that might come from these particular uh, resources that are online for this particular module, or they might come from other websites that you find useful as well. So you put those in there as well. So where are you getting that type of information from? So it's a fairly straightforward thing. It's not, um, it's not going to take up too much of your time, but it's a very important one because you're going to need this information. So literally, where are you sourcing it from? So if we look at Kilmainham Jail and we look at what they've done uh, in their assignment, they have put up a number of different sources. Um, you know, with regards to some of its primary, with regards to interviews with um, the supervisor of the jail itself, group visit of the jail so they might be actually there and in, in interpreting information they might be taking their own photographs and different things and so on and then there's a lot of published material uh some online some offline um so it's it's really just to let me know where you intend on on sourcing this information from